we are still kicking thank you very much okay so are you a young girl middle age or you are in a relationship or you're looking for a relationship now let me tell you something gone are the days when women are not educated we are not nourished we just uh, maybe we don't even have any back any education background or anything we just uh, what what our parents taught us is that um, a man will come in and marry you so then there is no need for a woman to be what educated or need to be educated that was then okay at this century things have changed women are educated women has jobs and we are all making ends meet just like men okay so today i want us to talk about giving a man a chance you may be a graduate you may be a graduate and a man is not graduate marriage doesn't justify education it doesn't matter what education background or what or degree he has marriage is about union it's about companionship okay that is what marriage is all about marriage is not about education it's not about six pack it's not about what height he has or seven feet or six foot or whatever okay women has so many expectation or we have so long list that if it doesn't mean if it doesn't fit into that category then the man has failed or the man doesn't fit into a category so you are not going to marry them and let me ask you this end of the day are you going to marry the man because of his height or you're going to marry him because you love him or you want to spend the rest of your life with him Okay, if you're looking for six foot man and someone end up showing up who is four feet or four four, please marry him. He may be your life companion. He may be the one you, you are meant to be together. He may be the one that who's going to spend the rest of your life together. Okay, we need to learn to cherish and respect them and to love them regardless who they are. Okay, I remember those days in school, there are so many women, uh, young ladies who were high, have, have some high expectation about men that they want to marry. They want to marry one who is going to be engineer, a doctor, yeah, engineer, a doctor, and what? Um, uh, yeah, engineer, doctor, and things, and then a lawyer. Okay, so if you're a man, it doesn't fit into that category. They don't want to mingle with you. And I can bet you thousand dollars or thousand pounds that those men, are, those women are still living single. They are not married. Why? Because their better half has already been married or they couldn't fit or they couldn't get the kind of man they wanted. Some women are waiting to get married to a pastor when the pastors are not into looking into their eye, but they are waiting and sitting in the church praying for a man of God to marry them. Now, let me tell you, is there a difference between a member of the church and a man of God? There's no difference. They are all human. By end of the day, they, you are going to be married to a home where you, are, you can make it your home. You may be a wild, intelligent girl and you, you, you met this man who is dumb and doesn't know anything, has no knowledge about maybe romance, sexual, and anything. And you think that you are, you are on top, you are high, and you think that you don't have time to teach him. You need a man who is already professional. Let me tell you, men always learn, okay? They never grow up. Can't you see this? You have it. I have children, my own. I breastfed them. They are going to get married and still be briefed. It tells you that they don't grow. Men are specially made that they need to be taught. They are not like women. Okay? You can teach a woman how to make a pot of soup and they got it like this. But you can teach a man how to make a pot of soup. And I can bet you that you're always going to call you your best friend or your buddy buddy or your GIF and also call his mom and say, hey, what can I put this in this? It tells you that they were created differently. Men were created to be taught. Men are smart, but they are, when it comes to life, they are, they are created to be taught at all the time. A lot of people are leaving their relationship, leaving their marriage because they can't compromise because they think that a man can, they doesn't use their brain to do certain things to help them. But you know that it's your responsibility to tell them what you want. Okay? A lot of women have this kind of anxiety and this depression because 
um, my husband doesn't help me at, at uh, um, home uh, house chores. My husband doesn't do anything. All that he does is sit in the TV and watch TV. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very Rokoto. Thank you very much. Nana Rokoto for thank you very much for joining me. This women has this anxiety that my husband doesn't take trash. My husband doesn't help me with the dishes. My husband doesn't clean uh va doesn't vacuum. My husband doesn't know how to um mop the floor or doesn't do anything. So he doesn't he doesn't help me at home. So what is the benefit of living with a man who doesn't help me at home? Hello, do you know that it is your responsibility to tell him what you need? And I can bet you that the moment you tell him, he's going to get it done. Okay? Men need to be taught. Enough of this long list. Enough of this if he's not seven feet, I'm not going to marry him. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, men always need to be taught okay so enough put this higher expectation aside you want to get married or you want to be in a long-term relationship do you know that your the reason why your relationship doesn't last do you know that your longest relationship is six months or one year do you know why your real relationship doesn't last to two three four five years ten years twenty years do you know why because you haven't learned and you haven't studied man enough you just want to be in a relationship because everybody's in a relationship but you haven't taken time to study the man you haven't taken taking time to know who men really really are so that you can better your relationship or your marriage happy new year to you too musa ademo thank you very much for joining me that is the problem our problem our women our problem is that we don't know men we are living with men. We've been dating men since we are, child. we are in childhood. But we don't really know who men really are. Okay? So I want you to give that man, a poor man, a chance. I want you to give him a chance. He may be the one that God has chose for you. He may be the one who's going to spend the rest of your life with you. But because he doesn't fit into your high expectation, you think that he's a less man. And let me tell you, no man is a less man. You have no idea what men are capable of. The same way they say in the Proverbs that the downfall of a man is no end of his life. The same way goes to it doesn't matter what height, what education, education or non-education. I have, I've, I've, I've lived in this life for a long time that I've come to realize that life is not about education. It's not about high class. It's not about who you are. It's not about the class you are in. It's not about where you were born and where you were from. You can achieve your goal regardless of where you are coming from, regardless of where you were born, okay? So it's up to you to make it work. How can you make it work? It's about knowing a man. It's about studying men. It's about knowing them and know how to nourish them. If you know how to nourish men, if you know how, to, how, to, how, how men are, they are a piece of cake. They are easy to live with and you have peace of mind. Now... Living, I, I see that this young uh, generation, we are living beyond our own imagination. We are living on some kind of expectation. We are living for other people. Why? Every, every young woman have this mentality that a man has, must be a doctor, must be engineer, must be a lawyer, or maybe now they have added the pastors in, in, into category. So if you don't fit into those four categories, if you're not a man, if you're not a man of God, if you're not a pastor, if you're not a doctor, if you're not a lawyer, you don't fit to be married. And let me tell you, who's supposed to marry those maintenance men? Who's supposed to be? Uh, who's supposed to marry this? Who's supposed to be married that? They are there for us to be married. They are there for us to be to have a relationship with. Okay. So enough of being selective. And ready to be mingled so that you can find the right companion and live with it. It's that simple. Stop living the life for other people. If you if you are you are if you are, you are involved with some kind of good group of friends and some of them are married to successful men like maybe a lawyer, a doctor, an engineer, and everything, don't envy them. Those people are not meant for you. Now let me tell you, I've seen people who are married to doctors and they are miserable. They end up firing for divorce. Why? Because they are not meant to be together. Because they are not compatible. Because she or he married because of some expectation. But when she get into the marriage, she realized that marry a doctor is not that easy. Or marry a doctor is not just a married to a doctor, so so be it. It doesn't happen that way. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
So stop living for other people. I am married to a lawyer and you carry that in your shoulder. End of the day, what does it do? We are all human. Okay, a lawyer, a doctor, a teacher, a pastor, we can all make a living. I've seen people who were even high school dropout. Also, I've seen some people who didn't even go to secondary school. But today, they are the richest people in Ghana right here. Yes, they are the most richest people that you can ever bet. I can even bet you that some, some of them even was in size 7. Uh, size 7 was, um, now you can say, um, 6th grade or class 6 or something. Okay, so stop, stop this, this, this high class life. Okay, a man being a lawyer doesn't make you a lawyer. Yeah, a man being a, a, a doctor doesn't make you a doctor. You are just a wife. You are a doctor's wife. That doesn't make you a doctor. It's end of the day, is the income, is the money that makes you who he is. But you, do you know that you can marry someone who is not into that four categories, but yet you guys can make a living? You can make, I have seen some people who, like I said, I've seen some people, I, I've met some people in the United, United Kingdom that these people, uh, back then they were selling shoes in Bantama and Asafo and Ahonjo and I know these young, young men, they were hustlers. These people have no education, okay? They were hustling. This, a day they can sell a whole bunch of shoes and everything. You have no idea how they do it. But yet, anytime I pass by, they are selling shoes. Even though if I don't want to buy it, I'll end up buying it because they'll make sure, oh, there's a new thing in, the, in, the, in town. It's coming on, blah, blah, blah. And you end up buying it. Do you know these people, these young men has made it big in United Kingdom. They own about six, five houses. They rented them out. And let me ask you this. If you live in United Kingdom or UK and you have about, uh, let's say about five houses and you have rented them out, do you know how much money you are going to make? Let's say you rent each house for a thousand pounds and you own about three of, let's say you have five houses and you rent them for thousand pounds. That means you're going to make five thousand pounds a month. Now, let me tell you, is it a cool money? And do you know that what your as a woman with your education or with your income, do you know that you can back that man or you can back your husband who has no education to make a living? Now, let me tell you, don't look less on men. Like I always say, I've lived my life so I have I've, I've observed men so much and I've studied men so much that no matter little that you think they are, they can be better than who you think you are. Okay, let's say you met a man, you met a, you met a young man as a as a woman, you may be um, highly educated, you work in a, maybe high society, you have your own business, you have your own house, you have your own car. You met this young man hawking on the streets and everything, trying to make ends meet. He's a business minded. Do you know that if you low, if you lower yourself so low and marry that man and maybe set him up with a business or open a convenience store for that man, do you know that he can make ends meet and you guys can better your life? Do you know that? So why is it that men must always spend their money? Men must always take care of us. But our money is our money. What do we use our money for? I know some women who make like um, $100,000 or 100,000 pounds a month, but they don't want to help their husbands at home. They don't want to support their boyfriends. Why? Because their boyfriend's supposed to be taking care of everything. Their husband's supposed to pay in all the bills. But my question is, what do you do with your money? As a wife, as a girlfriend, you're supposed to support your man no matter what. Helping a man, supporting a man financially doesn't make you less a woman. Doesn't make you stupid. Okay, if you have a land, build a house with your husband together. Okay, enough of this is mine, this is yours, this is mine, this is mine. End of the day, what are you taking all this property to? I've seen people uh, with this uh, 2020, a lot of people have died through the COVID and everything. Did any of them take those property to the grave? Never. So what is your problem? Women, what is our problem? Stop living for other people. Stop trying to please people. Okay, mingle, lower your standard, lower yourself. No matter how rich you are, no matter how standard you are, no matter how educated you are, you have to humble yourself. Okay, the reason why higher educated women uh, struggle to get married is because the education is in their head. When, you, when they marry men, they think that because they are highly educated, they are not supposed to do house choice. 
nothing turn a man on when they see their wife cooking when they see their house their house clean their wife doing and doing things i'm not saying that men are not supposed to help us but they are our companion they are they are our helpers if you talk to them nicely if you ask them oh i bet you that they are going to help you that is how men are okay if you're married don't sit down and fold your arms and spread the um the carpet to be more or to more because you expect the man to do it without you saying anything lack of communication is killing a lot of relationship lack of communication is killing our marriage because we have this kind of mindset that the way we women were taught men were taught the same now let me tell you they were not taught the same men are always called to do things i have young i have young boys living with me my own children that i i i, I have them my own biological children and one thing i will observe about them not be my husband but my children is that they they always need to be taught because they are young and even 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 my husband you always need to tell them what to do honey can you please iron my shirt for me oh yeah he will honey oh is there any way you can um when you're done i'm done whatever i'm doing can you wipe the table for me he will do that that's how men are okay don't expect him to finish eating and take his plate and expect him to wipe the table because there's some food um there were there were some crumbles on the table that you expect him to do it it doesn't happen that way they need to be taught if you need him to vacuum the carpet ask him nicely sweetheart oh honey darling oh i'm so tired is there any way you can vacuum the carpet man the carpet need to be vacuumed with the tone of your voice and your humanity, he will do it for you. Men are not hard to live with. And if you want them to help you in the kitchen, say, hey, sweetheart, what are you doing? Are you still listening to the CNN or BBC or uh, Joy News or what? Adam FM? Come on. I need help here. Join me. He will get up and help you in the kitchen. We need to learn how to talk to them. You can't yell at a man and expect him to do something for you. He may end up getting up doing it, but it will not be to your expectation. It will not be to what you may wish would have done because of your tonation. Learn how to live with a man. Learn how to talk to them and give them a chance to express and to give them a chance to grow. Okay? They need to be taught as always. They never grow. Men never grow. Okay? I'm not talking about education wise, but in life, in society, and everything, that is how it is. Okay, welcome, Makasi Bwedi. Thank you for joining me. That's how men are. If we know how men are or who they are, things will be so much easier for you and I. Okay, it will be so much you and I. Your long list 2021, you want to get married? 2021, you want to be in a long relationship? I want you to cut, cancel that long list that you always be writing. I want a man who is this, who has, who has, let me tell you, at this century, I built, I, I don't want to brag, but I built my first home when I was, I was a teenager. Yes. So if, if, if you get a mar if you get married, if you have a man that you want to get married to, and the man has no, uh, doesn't have a home and you have a home, what is big deal about you living with a man in your house? Is it a taboo? And who says so? This century, this 21st century, things have changed. Okay? It's about time we stop living and expecting, have more expectation for men. Then we can also bring men into our home to live. If a man is living in your home, do you know how much respect you have for you? Yes, because at this century, all these fellow uh, young girls are building their own home. Like my generation, we, I was... I, I mean, when in the moment I start working, my first thing was I need to build a house. I need a house. I need to build a house. I need a house. And you know, I'm Ashanti. And anybody who is Ashanti or know Ashanti people, they will tell you how much we are proud of building. We love to build houses. And we love to point it. Oh, this is my house. See the house I built. That that's us. We like we like we like um, investment and we like the build we like to build okay and that's my culture where i'm coming from so if i want to get married or if i'm if i'm not married and i have a man who doesn't have a place to stay and i have my own home what is big deal about it that the man has to come into my house what is big deal about if i have money if i'm working i'm making good money 
and I met this man that I love so much. Every single day, I get message on Frema shows and friends of Frema shows. Girls asking me, Frema, I am a nurse and I, I met this young man and he's, you know, we're in love. He wants to get married to me, but he doesn't have money. And then because of that, we have, we have not been married, but we've been together for two years, three years. And he's still having able to, I mean, save money enough to marry me. My question is, do you love the young man? She would say, yes. And I said, what do you do with your salary? Well... I saved my money. And I said, what are you saving the money for? What is it big deal for you to give the money to a man? I mean, to give the money to the man to marry you. You want to get married, right? Do the right thing. Allow him or support him. Send him down say, hey, sweetheart, I know you're trying to marry me and all that. Things are difficult for you. But I want to help. What can I help? You know what I mean? What part can I take? Enough of this is my money. This is my money. You need to stop that. Okay, your money, you went to school to get education to earn salary. By the end of the day, it's our money. Ladies, it's our money, not my money. All right? Yes, it may be your money because you are earning it. By the end of the day, it's our money. As long as the money is in your life, you have somebody in your life, it is our money. With marriage or relationship, it's our money. The same way we expect a man to give us... Um, outkeep every month the same way women can also do that yes there are some bad men who take advantage of women with a good heart but that doesn't mean that all men are the same hell no they are good men out there now let me tell you there are some men who, who met good women that they were supporting them financially and they took that for granted or they took advantage of them but the problem is when they leave those women like or when their relationship didn't work out you know what happened? They will also think that uh, they always have this thing in mind. Oh, that woman was so good. This uh, Freema was very supportive. Freema would have done this. Freema would have done that. Okay? That tells you that if you support a man, that doesn't make you stupid. It makes you a woman with a kind hearted. Now, let me tell you something, ladies. Men like kind hearted women. And don't be stingy. It's not only men who are stingy. Women are also stingy. They don't like to spend their money. They don't want to use their money for anything. Even when they want to cook for a man, they want you to give them money before they cook for you. But what, what is so lovely and romantic that you cook meal and say, Hey, darling, I know you need this food. I just cook it. Just take them home and eat it. Anytime that he touches their food, whether he bless you or not, you get blessing from that. Do you know that? So what is it? about women money that is not touchable but men money are touchable why are men not human are they also not human are they what not are, are they not also give a men were born by women you see our problem we need to change our mindset okay if you're a woman out there and you, you want a job find a job before you get into relationship so that you don't have this higher expectation Okay, that man also have his own, I mean, um, things going on in his life. But a little bit of your income and his income, it make a better home. Okay, have you seen two people who are career people broke up? It's highly. Because everybody's bringing something to the table. Okay, I bring something, my husband brings something. Another day, we make a better life. If he cannot afford this, I can afford it. I'm not always expecting him to do shopping for me. If I see this beautiful shirt and I like it, I buy it with my own money. End of the day, I look beautiful. He tell, oh, you look beautiful in this outfit. It's, I bought it because it looked beautiful. I am not waiting for him to go to the store and say, hey, honey, go and buy it. I saw this shirt. You need to get it for me. That is not how it's supposed to be. Okay, enough of demand. Enough of requesting. It's about time we also do something for a man to see that women have changed. Okay, we call ourselves, oh, at this century, things have changed, women have changed. But when it comes to our money, we are still stingy. We don't want to change our mindset. We don't have to change. We don't, we don't want to support men. But we also want to receive from men. Why? What has they done wrong to be part of our life? You see my point? Stop your wrong desire. Our desires is totally wrong. Our expectation from relationships totally wrong. 
Some people went to relationship thinking that, oh, if I got married, I'm going to be uh, one of the most happier people in the world. He's going to make me happy. He's going to make me this, gonna give me this. And let me tell you something, that's fairy tale. What you see on TV, what you see in the movie, is not what is happening in real life. The real life is, I work, you work, we bring money to the table, we make a living. That is real life. The real life is, I work, if I see something beautiful that I want, I buy it. If I go to the town, I see a nice shirt, I'll buy it for my husband or a man in your life. That is real life. What we see TV is not what real life is. Now, let me take a tea break and we'll continue our topic. If you just join me, I'm talking about... <clears throat> If you just join me, I'm talking about giving him or give a man a chance. My young ladies have long expectation. They have high expectation. They have some kind of category that if you're a man, it doesn't fit into that category. You don't fit into the marriage. Now let me tell you, your expectation is wrong. You have wrong mentality. Something is wrong with you because you want to live for other people. You want people to see you rise. But let me tell you, who cares? When I was young, I used to think a lot of things that, oh, this is what I want. This, If you want to achieve something, you need to go for it. Don't wait. Expect a man to do all that for you. If you want to be certain, you want to make ends, you want to make certain salary, further your education. Educate yourself to, so that you can make that salary. You want to go to abroad? You want to go to abroad? Look for your visa. Don't wait for a man in abroad to send you invitation before you go to... No, that is wrong. Enough of depending on men. Enough of thinking that men has to do everything for us. Okay? That mindset needs to change. 2021, let's go with positive mindset. 2021, let's go with ambition that all men are welcome into our life regardless of their size, their height, or the education or non-education, whatever. Stop that that kind of expectation, okay? End of the day, it's your marriage, not their marriage. Your parents want you to get married to um, a lawyer or a doctor. And you want to get married to a business-minded, a businessman who has no education. If that is what you want, you go for it. Enough of pleading, living your life to plead people. Those people don't live in your life. I've seen people living marriage, I um, mean, mar being married and being so miserable because they were forced to leave a man they love to marry a man they don't love. They have no connection and everything, nothing about. Okay? So, end of the day, there's no peace at home. Every little mistake is a problem. But let me tell you, if you truly love someone, if you're really, really into somebody, his mistake is just a joke. His mistake doesn't count. It's easy for you to forgive because you love the person. Because you don't want to leave them. You don't want to lose them. You want them to be part of your life. You want to spend the rest of your life with them. That is how life and marriage and relationship is all about. There are some women who doesn't want to get married. But yet, it would be nice to have a long-term relationship than having a short-term relationship where you have long, your, short, your long relationship in like six months or a year. That is no long-term relationship. That's a short-term relationship. There is something wrong with you that you need to work it out before you go to another relationship. Let me take a short break and I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. If you just join me, I'm talking about give him a chance. My name is Coco Bata Brady Famous Shows. Don't go nowhere. Music. You're from the country. Dance. I'm taking a tea break. Uh, Sheila Graham has said something that I'm going to read it and I will, just, I will address it. Um, I, I'm so glad you brought this one up and I get this in my inbox every single day. 
if you are friends of Frema Shogus, you know this, that we always discuss this and debate about it. So, Miss Graham, I'll come back to it. Don't go nowhere. You're watching Frema Shows. So, like I said, we are watching Frema Shows. I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. Don't come and let yours make my day She's too fine past Gaga She watch everywhere to the battle Hey, back up, boom, boom, make me mad Let me finish it, you know me lie, yo This girl go keep me shy, yo Shady, 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 shady Don't make me shiver Shady, 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 shady No, you don't make me shiver Play my show, play my show Play my face, yo, what you got for me Play my show, play my show Don't change my word, yo for joining me my name is coco butter brony frame shows yeah frame show is the name um as before i went on tea break to get some water in my throat uh another lady has made something that um i got in my inbox every single day the statement and i always i always ask them what is your problem what are your expectations what do you expect what do, what are you looking for and they will give me a whole bunch of lists like this and i said you expect a man to have all these categories before you marry them by the end of the day are you going to marry the category are you going to marry the list of what what the man is or are you going to marry because of love now let me tell you as long as as long as the man has a future that is all you need you need a man who has a future if he has a future please give him a chance regardless of whether education or non-education because all men are men and what they are capable of you can never believe it now let me read this she said um <clears throat> i'm very independent woman and highly educated i just divorced with two kids and i've been having some i've been having so many men proposing and there has been a turning and turning my back at them because of their low lev level of education all right, my dear sister, see what I'm talking about. Men, marriage and relationship is not about education, okay? It's not about education. It's about love. I can bet you that there are so many men who are not educated, but you can train them to becoming who you are and turn them around. That nobody will know whether they're educated or not. But at the end of the day, my question is, are you married Are you married because of your education or would his brain be given to you or his certificate name will be changed into yours? No. Enough of the class. You are not my class. So that's what I see. I see a lot of women who have got out of university and everything. They still have not been married. They wonder why. And they keep on saying, I'm 39, I'm 40, I'm this, I've not been married. And I said, because your, your expectation is too much. What you're looking for in a man is too much. If I ask you that a guy who is selling um, 
funny yogurt on the street is the man who is your destiny helper would you marry him she will say no why because you see the man selling ice cream or you got a popsicle on the street or the man is selling coconut on the street that man is only your destiny helper but i can challenge you that if you marry that man and turn his life around he will become a business mogul that he will run, he will he will forever be indebted to you for the rest of his life our expectation, too much expectation, is keeping women single and, and, and being divorced and everything because you're not my class. One, I made a story about the woman who was married to this man. The man was not educated, but very business-minded. And the, the lady was um, university graduate with a master's degree. And anytime they have argument, well, you are not my class. I married you because I, I'm in abroad. I married you because I was in abroad and I don't have a, I don't have anybody, so I just end up marrying you. So one day the man said, to hell with you with your education. Get out of my life. The man kicked the lady out with her education and everything that is in her head. So she left. Do you know what happened? In the next few years, the lady turned back. The man owned seven African markets in Europe, and he's making it so big. With seven African markets he owned, do you know that he has also invested in real estate that he buy houses and fix them and rent them out? And she was trying to do anything to get back to that man, but it was too late. Do you know why? When master's degree left, Another person with PhD came to his life and said, Hey man, you are so smart, intelligent. I'm going to get you a loan for 50,000 euro, 50,000 euro, and I'm going to set you up with a business. What business do you want? Because you are business minded. This man can, that before he started his business, he can take this glass, even though he can buy it for one city, this man can make you buy this glass for five cities and that's what he was in ghana when he went to abroad he never stopped but when the lady with a uh, master's degree left he was so heartbroken he met a, a woman with a phd and said i'm taking a loan for you you are too good to be wasted with one african market they set up he ended up having seven african markets today they own houses in europe that if you go in if you have a visa and you don't have um like a uh, work authorization and things you don't have a proper document you need a place to stay this couple are the people that who will accommodate you and whenever i hear their story i said that's what i'm talking about that is what i'm talking about education or not education height or short they are all men all men are men regardless of their height regardless of the education education will not put food on your table education will not satisfy you in bed education will not will not make your life the way you want it education will not some some men are highly educated but let me tell you they are boring in the house They'll sit down and read papers and listen to news and you're being in your corner and just doing things. But if you're married to somebody that you, you love and everything, I think life will be fun and entertaining that you think it was. Okay? It's enough. Put this list aside. Okay? Put them aside. Let's make a living. Treat man the way they're supposed to be treated. Give him a chance. I've met some a guy that who was a carpenter. The guy was a carpenter in Ghana or carpentry. He was into carpentry business and everything. And then uh, he happened to get a visa to um, in abroad. When he got there, he was doing his carpentry job and everything and all that. And the ladies was like, ah, oh, you're a carpenter. We are nurses. You know, the, you know, this young ladies in abroad there, especially, I don't know about other culture, but I know Ghanaian young ladies that they don't want to mingle with. If they become a nurse, everything is lower because they are nurse and they are making good money. So everybody was rejecting this guy and everything. So he ended up meeting this beautiful young lady and she said, oh, I'm a medical doctor. The guy was like, what? You a medical doctor? Well, I've met nurses that they tell me down. I don't think we are, compat we, are, we are compatible. But the guy said, there's one thing that I can challenge you that you can make me your own because I love you. I want to marry you. I'm not going to marry you because of your education or because you're a lawyer or because you're a doctor. I'm going to marry you because you love me. Is that right? She said, yeah. I don't care whether you're a carpenter or whatever. Whatever you want to do, 
as long as we are married and happy that's all matter together today they are one of the most happiest couple that you can ever think of it's always fun to see them when he goes to your, their home it's not about education that oh i'm too educated so you know i don't mingle with this this, this guy is so funny he can make you laugh and crack your ribs and also doing so well with his carpentry job okay so with a doctor married to a carpenter let me tell you is there anything dirty or is there anything significant that they are not compatible ladies you need to stop okay build from scratch make him your own grab him from the street if you want to get married grab him from the street make him your own if he if he's broke you are making money give him some money to put in his pocket what is big deal about it he doesn't have food to eat cook with your own money do some grocery shopping give him the food to eat buy him nice clothes. let him look good the way you want your money to look good do you know that some women have been taking care of their men without you knowing it some people will not tell you the truth because they don't want to feel bad for them but they love what they do they close their husband they pay their kids school fees they also pay their rent or everything but yet they're living happily marriage okay marriage is not about a, 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 it's not about it's not about competition it's not about education it's about love understanding and loyalty that is what it's all about so enough of my class your class your class we don't have any class when it comes to marriage it's all about love okay if you met someone who was better than your ex it's your like i said last week it is your job to turn them to a better person set the person down say hey i don't like it when you talk in a high 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 tone to me it makes it feel like you are yelling at me and i don't like it i don't like people yell at me because he or she love you he will change is it that simple or hey i'm a very organized person so I don't like it when you leave when you eat and leave a plate in the kitchen and all things like that he will change it's about the tonation and the communication between you two that makes things work better but if you're living with your significant other or your husband and you cannot talk to them about something then what is the meaning of staying married anyway what is the meaning of staying together anyway because you guys are not compatible does it make sense so give him a chance Stop this long list. Stop this high expectation. Stop this living living for other people. Stop living to please your family members, your friends and everything. But let me tell you something. Your friends doesn't care about who you marry. Do you know that? Yes, they don't care. If 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 your friends are married to an engineer and you are, you are married to a carpenter or a mason, does it really matter? If I were you, stop being friends with them. If that will make you, uh, it, it will bring some competition between you two. Stop being friends with certain people. Live your life to plead yourself. Okay? I've seen people trying to buy designer wear and all that to, to show the world that they are rich. But let me tell you, wearing designer wear doesn't make you rich. Buying expensive things doesn't make you rich. Wearing beautiful things that make you comfortable, like I have my beautiful shirt on. It doesn't matter how much I buy it. I'm, I'm not a big fan of designer. I don't like designer. Why would a mother invest or throw his money in designer wear? Where you have children, that you need to think about the education, university. Why there are so many motherless children out there that have a lot of children that I have to cater for who are into Freeman Help Me Grow Foundation that I have to pay their school fees. I need to feed them and I'll be spending my money buying designer wear to please who? To please who? The world? But in, in a me, I may be empty and lonely? Oh, hell no. That doesn't make sense. Let's put those kind of life alive aside and live to please ourselves. We need to let it go. We need to please ourselves. We need to make ourselves happy. Forget about social media. They don't care. If you if you buy designer wear, if you're going to buy Louis Vuitton so that you get a million like, okay, fine. You get a million like. By the end of the day, what does it do? Does it put money in your bank account? How much money did you put in your savings account? How much money does it put in your what? Your checking account? On what, what, what does it do? You can invest those money into your children. You can invest in a property. There are so many investments that we can invest our money on than to please social media. 
there are so many things we can we women can use our money to help our boyfriends and husbands that we are living with than in, in just buying expensive things and wear in the social media and forget about those men in our life it is not always up to men to take care of us it's also our responsibility to help men as well is that too much is it too much that if your man is broke if your husband cannot pay electricity bill and you take the bill and pay it what don't you think that man will be happy do you think he will take you for granted no way he won't so we need to change our, our mindset we need to communicate make the man our own give him a chance hey honey have you paid the rent this month oh no i haven't paid i'm gonna pay in the next three days because i'm waiting for a paycheck ask him how much you need Oh, I have 50,000 cities. Oh, I'll need about 20,000 cities to make it. Oh, really? Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, take my card and withdraw 2,000 and add it to whatever and pay the rent. This man will be indebted to you for the rest of his life. Okay? Stingy women are suffering. Stingy women are suffering in relationship and marriage because they don't help their men. And the men also don't care whether you help me or not. I'm doing all myself. So don't expect me to do something extra. Don't expect me to be your entertainer because you don't help me around. Is that the kind of life you want to live? What does big deal about if you, you, if you say, okay, um, I'm going to be responsible for the electricity bill. So forget about it. You take care of this and that. And that. Is, is, is it that easy? Why are we making life so difficult for us, especially we women? Why are, we, why are we so stingy? We want to spend men money, but we don't want to spend our money. Our money is always our money, but we forgot that it's our money. If a man's money is our money, your money is our money too. And you have also right to spend it. But my question is, you don't want to help him to make it. You don't want to help him succeed. Do you know the reason why a lot of men cheat? Very soon, I'm going to bring that topic so that we can discuss it. And most of women, married women, are have pushed their husband outside to cheat because they didn't help them when they needed help most. Do you know that some side chick would also give your husband money to invest in their business? When the business becomes successful, they will take up that that uh, house, a side chick that they can take care of you. They will buy that side chick everything that they wanted. They will do certain things for them because it's your money. You've been so stingy. You don't want to help him. But when he asks for help from his side chick, the side chick will draw whatever amount to support his business. End of the day, she's the one who is enjoying it. You are in a marriage, miserable, but someone is enjoying your husband because of your stinginess. Give him a chance. Change your mindset. Give him opportunity to excel. Make him the superman that you want. Make people be proud of him. Stop talking negative about your man. Stop talking negative about your husband. Make him a man. If he does something that you don't understand, it's your responsibility to sit down and talk with them. Communication and relationship. Okay? And stop this. Yeah, well, he's a man. He's supposed to know this. So if he doesn't, I don't care. They need to be taught. They need to be taught Frequently, men need to be taught every single day. That is right. You can always be kind and open-hearted. But there are some men who will take advantage of your kind-hearted. But there's one thing about it that they always leave to regret it. There are so many men who always come to my inbox and they wish that I can even talk to the women on their behalf. And I said, I don't do those things. I always get stories from you guys. You need my opinion, I will. But I can never tell you what to do. And I can never, I can never fix something that you caused the damage. You already caused it. You already damaged it. It can never be fixed. You have to do it yourself. Okay? So next week, I have a very nice topic that we are going to talk about. Don't miss next week's topic. My name is Prima Shows. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to share, like, and comment as well. I do want to say a very big thank you to wonderful people who always join me no matter what. Sheila, everybody, Evelyn, um, everybody, yeah, Frederick, Amoa, and then everybody who were able to join me. Thank you very much. This topic is very sensitive. But my topic, if you watch, if you miss the show, make sure after the video, you watch it again. Because I talk about give him a chance. That was the topic for today. And I've addressed the reason why you are still single. The reason why you haven't, your marriage has been awkward because of your expectations. Wrong expectation that you took into marriage. 
the reason why you are you don't have a long term there are some women who doesn't want to be married but they don't have a long this long term relationship their relationship are short because they have some kind of mentality and their stinginess is also causing it i do want to say a very big thank you to you for joining me for watching me and also supporting Frema shows and Frema help me grow foundation i'll see you guys the same time next week uh, until then i'll say bye bye but what i said today is give him a chance give that poor man a chance forget about your education forget about high education forget about your high end if you're making high if even if you if you're making hundred thousand or seventy thousand a year and your uh, your husband is making maybe 15k a year now let me tell you do you know you can balance things there are so many things that you two can do to make a better home to make a peaceful home that you know that the secret is men also like women who also make higher money because it makes them relaxed and comfortable at home without you being too much dependent on them and being demanded because you have your own money if you're a woman out there you're watching me today you don't have a job i will challenge you to make sure you get a job if you want to do business make sure you join a business that will make you money or support you so that when you get into marriage you don't have any high expectation expecting a man to do everything for you his hands go hands come that's how life and relationship is all about this is a live show and i will not take much of your time but i do want to say a very big thing music if you didn't hear from me or you didn't understand anything that i talk about or you were late you just joined me in. i talk about give him a chance that was the topic for today next week i have a nice sensitive topic to talk about